Hello people, simple game here. Today we'll be going arena mode once again. And to be more precise, the means is to buff camps in arena. There's six buff camps in arena, two attack speed buffs, two damage buffs, and two mana buffs. These buffs are located at the sides of the arena. The mana buffs are located to the left of any base, both yours and your opponents. The purple buffs are located to the right, and the red are located in the center between these buffs. The purple buff camp is the attack speed, the blue is the mana buff, and red is the normal damage buff. However, compared to Conquest, the arena buff camps are a little bit different. In Conquest, they use this free body system, however, in arena, the buff camps contain of one neutral minion, which is the one carrying the buff. This, of course, makes AoE guards have a harder time clearing the buffs and single target guards having an easier time clearing the buffs. So, how does Arena compare to the Conquest buff camps? Well, first of all, Conquest uses this free body system while Arena uses this one body system. So for this comparison, I'll be calculating all of the free bodies in Conquest together as one to see which one would be stronger than the other. According to the Smite BD PDS side, the Conquest Neutral Minion buff camps have a total base health of 1320 and gain 105 for each third min passed through on that point. However, there was no information regarding the Arena buff camps on the Smite BD PDS side, so I have to take matters into my own hands. Therefore, I used the following method. I went into an arena game, picked the guard, attacked all of the creatures at each minute up to 20, and wrote down how much damage I dealt. And yeah, this is the results. As we can see here on this graph, there is a growth in the creature's health. And I found a pattern which says on the, after the first minute has passed, there will go 4 minutes for each next buff in additional health. By assuming this pattern is the correct pattern, I made up this graph, which says that after, the f after this first minute mark, they gain 100 health for each fourth min, and between the zero minute mark and the first minute mark, they gain 150 health. Now, if we compare the arena health bars, which you see on the left, and the conquest health bars, which you see on the right, and the different sortings of the amount of health the buff can have in total, you can clearly see that the conquests have a lot more health. But not only that, as I mentioned earlier, buff camps in conquest gain the additional health every further minute. However, my method states that the arena buff camps gain health every fourth minute, so they will also gain more health faster. Now let's compare the damage dealt by these camps. According to the Wikipedia page, it states that the neutral arena camps deal 32 damage, while the conquest maps deal 5, 5 for the smaller bodies and 32 for the larger bodies. So the conquest buff. Okay, so a quick summary: the buff camps in arena deals less damage and have less health compared to the conquest. However, they are still ignored. Why is this? My personal guess would be it's because they are so low on the to kill list in terms of the ticket system. The ticket system is the thing in arena that makes you win. If you compare this to why buffs are so important in Congress, it's because they buff your stats. But in arena, they need to reduce tickets. If you don't know that, they are not worth your time. Which buff camps actually don't, they don't reduce the amount of tickets on your opponent's team and therefore don't actually help you win in the long run. Or maybe it's just because the average arena player wants to slay guards, not monsters or minions. This marks the end of the first part of the misunderstood buff camps in arena. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will tune in to the next one. Thanks for watching.